you know, directly impacted African Americans communities in very, very vast, bad, bad, bad ways. This gives us a chance to finally say to ourselves, look, as a Republican Party, we wrote the wrong that the Clintons came in and did, and I'm all for it when it comes to nonviolent crimes. What violent uh, crimes are on there? There's 50, listen, listen, there's there some on that. Uh, carjacking is not included. Uh, aircraft piracy, drive-by shootings are not included. Threats against the president are not included. Genocide is not included. Rioting in correctional facilities are not included. Transportation of minors for illegal sexual activity uh, is not included. Um, these are not hard to add. Right. That's why I'm working. So that's what you're suggesting. Yes. Yeah. But you know, if you don't get that in two weeks, you know it's not going to get done. Do you believe you know it? That. Do you believe it? We, we don't get it done in two weeks. He knows that. Done. He knows that. He's been, he's, he's been doing this long enough to know that. Right. Day from Providence and the police on this deadly stabbing on Federal Hill late Wednesday night. Police say if they have obtained an arrest warrant for this man, 41-year-old Joel Francisco of Pawtucket. They need your help finding him. As we reported, a Federal Hill business has been temporarily closed by the Providence Board of Licenses. Police say 46-year-old Troy Pine was stabbed to death inside Nara Hoka Lounge. Business will be closed until at least Monday. If you have any information about the stabbing or Francisco's whereabouts, you're asked to give police a call. Well, it didn't even take a year, and now what may have been inevitable has finally happened. Someone has died because of this. Joel Francisco was the head of a street gang called the Almighty Latin Kings. He was serving a life sentence for trafficking in narcotics. Then he was sprung from prison under the First Step Act. Now, as of tonight, he is wanted for murder of a man in Providence, Rhode Island. He was arrested over the weekend. Police have been looking for him since Troy Pine was stabbed to death inside of the Narahoka Lounge. No date has been set for Francisco's return to Rhode Island. Uh, up to 2,500 serious drug traffickers are going to be released almost immediately, within weeks or months of this bill passing. And remember, Tucker, these are the 2,500 that were so dangerous, not even Barack Obama would commute their sentences. It is an almost mathematical certainty, mathematical certainty, that someone is going to commit a heinous crime if this bill passes.